Hey guys, welcome to the Grand Punto to Evo tail light conversion tutorial. You'll need very basic knowledge of handling electricity or electrical stuff. Um, I never studied anything about electricity, so I'm sure you can keep up with this tutorial, even if it will take some uh, some research. Uh, you can see me assembling uh, the two connectors or plugs uh, which fit the Evo tail lights. I did my best to keep this tutorial as short as possible. Um, I used two resistors which are 25 watt each, uh, 15 ohm of resistance. Um, I do have to note I didn't put in the resistors at the end but I'll explain it later. I'll put a link in the description where to find um, or where I got the EVO plugs. the finished wires uh, and the plugs. So here we switch to the oh so beautiful outside world and we're going to start with unscrewing those two screws. Um, now you can gently pull the whole unit towards the back of the car. It's held in by two friction prongs or whatever you call them. There's one at the top and one at the bottom. Um, there we go, we popped it loose. Now just uh, disconnect the plug. You can see the wires have colors on them. Uh, the left will be mirrored from the right, but the colors do correspond with its function. Um, the thick black one on mine was the ground or mass, which is a typical color. Now, bear with me here guys, this is going to be uh, a bit more complicated, but if you pay attention and uh, if the method clicks in your brain, you can do this easily. Uh, it's kind of like a puzzle. these metal lanes come together in the middle um, you can see that the plug needs to be plugged in at the, at the back of course but you can see that those four um, metal prongs just stick through the plastic and come out the other side right there you can see the third one has a metal lane to the middle light, also goes to the top light and the bottom light, it's all connected. So that's the mass, that's the mass or ground wire. Now you can see the bottom one, which has a lane to the left one, the most left one. So that's the brake light. You now know the most left plug or the metal prong is the brake light. The second one goes up top, so that's the indicator light. You got a fourth one which is going to the middle and the bottom one. Um, that's where the normal light lights up. So it's the middle bulb and the bottom bulb. Which is going to be your LED wire for the um, the Evo version. a fresh evil tail light. Things worth noting is the inside plastic is black which indicates it's 2012 and newer which do have the new rounded plugs we're using for this tutorial uh, because there are also evil lights with a red interior plastic um, those have a different plug. Now we're going to open up this unit this unit is a bit different, it has um, two clips on the left and on the right, just pull them, you'll notice it's a bit different. 
got the blue wires for the LEDs. You can see it's the very same principle as the first one. You can follow the metal lanes and see the indicator light and the brake light are connected on the most left metal lane. Um, and if you turn it around, it will of course be the most right one for the mass on, the, on this new unit. This brake light has one lane on the right which goes by wire to um, a different prong. The indicator bulb goes on the most left here. And those three metal prongs are for the LED mass and two LED wires. Now here's the scary part. Cutting off the original plug from the car. Just cut the wires one by one. Make sure not to cut, cut them all at once just to um, prevent some shortage or anything. Here you can see the colors of the wires on the left side of the car. Here you can see them on the right. Um, they're mostly the same and mirrored. Now connect the new plug to the wires of the car. And make sure you test everything. So you can test the brake light, indicator light and normal lights all at once individually. Just make sure it works. Here we go. It's the end result. What I do want to mention is I did not put in the resistor. Uh, that's because I ran out of uh, time that day. The resistor needs to be put uh, between the LED and the mass wire. Which is going to remove the, um, the error on your dashboard. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment and follow me on Instagram.